Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to the village of Uphill Both Ways, where we perhaps have become scaredy rabbits, because the uh, bunnies that live inside of our rabbit hutch seem to be mysteriously disappearing, and instead we have some bunny blankets to uh, go ahead and help expand the village. So yes, I could understand how the fear that the rabbits seem to have hanging over their heads over the mysterious loss of some of their family members uh, may indeed inspire fear in our village, but we are going to have to do our best to fight against those fears, my friends, because otherwise doom is going to come upon us in just a few days. So, <laughs> I feel so bad about the leather situation, but also like on the flip side, there's no other way to be able to have any more people in this village because we need leather to make the houses. And I think that is actually kind of clever that, of course, our villagers, every time an, any animal dies anywhere, it's five fear. And that's a lot because to, to be able to recover that and to be able to fight against the domains, you have to have double that. And double that we currently do not have. And so now we are having Kit Kat Nat work on preparing a peace tent. Yes, it is indeed going to need some of those bunny blankets. And yes, I did want to mostly use the bunny blankets on upgrading a whole bunch of these um, tents once our druids figure out how to create larger tents. But, well, we, we definitely need to go ahead and prepare ourselves for the doom that I sense coming ahead. We have fear, then heat, then, well, cataclysm, then heat, uh, then cataclysm, and then cold all over again. Uh, wait, cold? Hold up. Heat? Cold? Cold in the summer? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. So heat, cold, okay. <laughs> um, how does one perhaps cool thyself off in our village, hmm? So that's cold, cold to raise the cold, but if we need to fight against the cold, um, in the middle of summer, no less, which I'm so glad we noticed by chance just now, uh, there we go, a nice bonfire. Apparently is going to need to be built, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we do need more people in our village, I would say. Uh, therefore, um, maybe I should... Well, we can't exactly have more people. I'm getting more berries so that we can go ahead and throw a couple pips into a tent with some berries. And surprise, surprise, sometimes a baby even pops out with them. Um, but... Let me think. We're also needing the tomatoes in order to feed all of the bunnies that we have. We're going to need tools to gather hemp, but if I can get a couple people to chit chat and be able to like build up some hope, that would be really important. But we also need this hemp so that we can go ahead and use the peace tent tomorrow. And we also need our druids at the bunny totems or else we aren't going to get the large tent in time. Well, in time is kind of a strong word. So you know what? We'll go ahead and we shall, um, let's see, three here. We're working on the scriptorium here. Let's see, do we have enough paper for the scriptorium? Not really yet. Ah! <laughs> it's definitely one thing after another. So you know what, Marsh? If you could actually come over here and have a nice conversation with Pseudo Fishy, I do believe that that may better the village rather than leaving fear throttling everyone's sense of, of safety in our village. We want the millions of rabbits everywhere to be able to feel at peace after all. Also, it'd be interesting if they could, like, actually overpopulate and, like, keep spreading. That, that could, can you imagine how challenging that would be for our shamans? Like, not to get the fear from the rabbits spreading, but also having to try to, like, okay, shoo, shoo, you guys need to get out of here. I guess dispersing them doesn't scare them, though. Hmm. Or, like, kill them. Hmm. Because if dispersing the rabbits counts as, like, them dying... That'd be like 15 fear every time you disperse them. That would be like a kick in the face, it would. <laughs> ah, 
ah, there we are. And now we have a great amount of protection from our fears since we are going into the peace tent and we are offering offerings of peace before the bunnies and um, the bunny totems after all. All right, yay. Hopefully that will help out a ton. And then in order to go ahead and get our, ooh, wait a second. I think, wait, okay. Okay, so it turns out thinker is an entirely different profession. So druids can only druid. Hold up. I'm so glad we didn't make more druids then. But, but can druids work with the altars then? Because if that's herbalist, the druids can only work on the temples and maybe in the fields. Really? Can they, can they work on like, no, that's healers. They can't do fruit infusions either. <gasps> I am shocked. That is not what I was expecting whatsoever. Um, I guess it means we could have another person start working as a thinker. Who is this? Marumala? <gasps> oh no, you're gonna starve? Is that what you're telling me? If we don't have, oh my gosh, we would have two starving pips if we didn't have more plums being plucked. Okay, that's kind of an issue. Um, Dino Dave, I think we might go ahead and pick some plums today because we have enough food for the rabbits for just a minute. We need more people. Like this is, this is getting kind of, kind of interesting to say the very least. We need more people. We also need to pile up on a bit more peace. Oh boy. Okay, we don't need more berries at the moment. So do we have anybody available? Okay, Gizmossy Chaos! <gasps> You're going to be studying the chaos at hand with um, this whole situation. And I think we don't actually need two people collecting hemp over here today. Uh, instead, I'm gonna need like a tool worker. Maru Mello is going to work on making more tools because we need to have a farmer to gather this hemp. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Trying to have like 10 pips just alternate all of the jobs that we need in the whole village is proving to be a rather interesting situation to say the least. Oh my, oh my. Yay! At least Gizmosy Chaos, you're going to be studying the chaos that happens to be going around us. Well, perhaps the druids will spend their days trying to placate the bunnies and hopefully get them to help out somehow. I'm sure that the bunny trails and the lucky bunnies. Oh, here we go. I see, we have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Oh, that's just, oh wow. We have a lot of cataclysm uh, defense though. Is that protection because it's from the, is from the growing of things? I need to double check. I need to keep a closer eye on when we're growing things because that's really useful. All right, let's see. We're going to need more hemp. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough hemp for that today. So <laughs> ironically, we're gonna have to have uh, Kit Kat Nat and Whisper in the Wind come and sit and let themselves gain a little bit of hope that way. Um, let's see. We are barely skimming by on having enough food for everyone. Um, we only have enough paper to be able to do a little bit more research today, but that'll get us closer to the large tent. Well, it isn't ideal. Even I would be among some of the first to admit that, but we are doing what we can to try to go ahead and help our village prosper. So let's gather, Ginger Fury, let's gather more wood for now so that tomorrow we can make more paper so that we can help our newest thinker to think more. Gizmosy Chaos, let me double check to make sure. Plus one if paper maker within one, plus two if knowledge. So you should have, you should have more than five, I think. Two, four, five, six, seven. You should have a lot more than just five knowledge, I think, because you have a knowledge maker right there, paper maker right here. Oh, are, is it because we're missing the path to the dwelling right there? Oh man, Dino Dave, can I spare you for just a second? I can't believe it, just because we're missing like one path. All right, hopefully that'll work out. I mean, hope is something we definitely need right now too. All right, that might help out with being able to get more. Yeah, now we're getting six at least. Okay, two, three, 
four, five, six. Yeah, that should be the total amount of, of scribbles and knowledge that we gain a day, which is quite delightful. Yeah, two base, two if knowledge maker within. So that's four, five, six. Yes, okay. That is most certainly a very important amount of contributions to helping us to work out our ideas on paper. Just because we are bunny worshipping druids does not mean that we haven't gone ahead and figured out very clever ways to keep records. Uh, however, we also need to figure out very clever ways to be able to, like, keep, keep our abilities to fend off any dangers. Let's keep focusing on just staying ahead on the hope issue. Do we have enough food? I think we're just barely going to skim by on enough food for people and not for rabbits yet, but okay. We, we need babies. Maybe we need to go ahead and do some sort of stork summoning ritual because we need a lot of babies. You think being people who worship rabbits we would be able to have plenty of babies just popping up out of the woodwork, but apparently we need to spell things out a little bit more specifically for our pips, like they're pandas or something. All right, are we there yet? I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Already? Jeez, I feel like these days are a lot shorter than they were in our other village. Wow, and why is there another baby bunny over here? I'm not gonna have enough room. Oh, look, they're gonna starve. They're so hungry. I need to get some more tomatoes. <laughs> but huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Uh, we finally have what we need in order to get the large tent, which is so critically important to us. All right, well, oh, thank goodness. So let us make sure that perhaps everybody has enough food to eat for one and then that we have the tomatoes being gathered for our little bunnies for another um and then we will go ahead and we will continue to stay just a teensy bit ahead on the hope issue just in case just in case and after tonight, when we must confront the terror that the poor Bun Buns have felt, we will celebrate getting through this fearful time with, hopefully, a bit of a baby boom. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, we didn't have any researchers researching. Okay, that's okay. That feels like petting a cat backwards. Because I really... Ah! Uh, like, we kind of need to have our researchers researching. Also, what happens when you have more bunnies than you can hold in your little tent. Uh-oh, here we go. Is it just going to be another scream of the night? Hang in there, Lord Thunder! Don't worry, maybe the yelling is going to jog my memory beans. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, Marumello, what's up? Feeling good? Aw, happy! Ginger Fury, just happy! Ha! Okay. That may have been a little closer than I wanted, but fine. So now we're just gonna gain a whole bunch of hope from everybody like whistling while they work. We've realized that perhaps that was a slightly terrifying time in our Pip's lives, but they're feeling happy because clearly we have placated the bunnies and even though bunny blankets may need to continue to make some appearances, um, it will at least allow us to go ahead and celebrate. Maybe I should put it right here for now. To celebrate with a bit of a Pip baby boom, which will hopefully only help us in the future with being able to make even more uh, bunnies happy. We'll have to think. All right. Let's go ahead and we will... Yes, I'm so relieved, by the way. <laughs> we'll celebrate by going and adding three new large tents in our village. And then, Ginger Fury, you might need to come over here. Okay, now where is my... Ah, there we go. Yes, Ginger Fury, you might need to come over here. And since the population of bunnies is quite high and our hope will at least go up a little bit, we might need to go and add just a few more bunny blankets <laughs> to what we have in the village, but soon we'll have many, many children who can hopefully help us come up with alternative ways <laughs> uh, to at least generate hope, if nothing else. We'll prove to the spirits of nature we will provide balance, and they do not need to provide fear. 
Also, so far everything seems a little bit tame, one might think, even if we are playing on hard, but I would like to remind all of you that is also because the levels of how strong the domain is when it's awake are low right now. How one continues to keep those levels low still is a slightly confusing proposition to me, but we will figure that out, and it is time. It is time for Pippling Babies! Also, what? They won't eat... Oh my gosh, we don't need berries. We can have anything in there. That's so funny. This whole time I thought to make a new Pippling, we had to have berries. And we don't. <laughs> All right, look. Uh, that's that's kind of hilarious. We're, we'll have some um, plum juice down here. Prophecy plum juice here and berry juice up here. Marshmallow, pseudo fishy, dino dave, whisper in the wind. Please welcome forth. Finally some new babies into our village uh, uh, are we slightly afraid of the new babies it seems so it seems so it's a big responsibility having more children in the village but i'm sure it's something that we're going to be able to endure just fine oh i say yeah this is this is all everybody complimenting each other right yeah 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 yay see what did i just say oh my gosh that's actually really helpful just cordial talk. The village gains two hope because everybody is so nice to each other. That is very on brand for me, so. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do today. The babies will take several days to grow, unfortunately, but while we wait, we can go ahead and we can work on updating at least another tent or two so that hopefully... <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's going to use that and... We're going to need to go ahead and the babies are going to grow. Is anyone going to starve? Thankfully, technically, no one will starve today. Not even the bunnies. But we might want to start collecting more food or planting more tomatoes. Oh my gosh, we need to plant these tomatoes, don't we? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need seeds. <laughs> oh, it is such a relief that I look around and I can see around us the... Um... Oh wait, we could, we could have another like little pip family over here that's almost more important than seeds let's see yeah baby growing in that one baby growing in this one we're upgrading two more tents and marshmallow and pseudo fishy are going to welcome yet another child into this tent we're kind of desperate for that right now so you gotta do what you gotta do <laughs> oh but i'm so relieved without having more children in the village we really are becoming a little bit hamstrung. Um, not that we know what a ham is just yet. I forgot about the domain things. A gale. One wind damage inflicted to two buildings. Um, but then it's a wind event! <gasps> we need to get our watchers watching! Because we can just like kick the heat domain in the face with that. That would be really cool. I wonder if you have a wind event and bonfires though, if that might like spread sparks through the whole village. That might be something we just want to be somewhat aware of. Also, Ginger Fury, I think we might be able to back off of collecting bunny blankets for just a moment. Uh, and instead, we can focus on upgrading that tent there. I think it is one of the last of the tents, actually. It is, look at that. Uh, which is excellent timing because somebody needs to come, oh, Okay, somebody needs to gather wood, somebody needs to repair the mountain spring, and I don't even actually know if we need this van, so I'm just going to leave it for now, because somebody also needs to come and add a new pippling into this spot right here, and um, gather some seeds, because we're going to desperately need to plant tomatoes. <laughs> And hopefully, with the entire village helping one another out, and the last-ish, eh, not the last baby yet, we have one more tent to add a new baby into, uh, coming and joining us on our bunny, well, I would say bunny baby boom, but the bunny population is going down. Trading bunnies for babies, I guess, is kind of what we've done. <laughs> child to welcome amongst our ranks as autumn arrives the elder had a vision of cold that explains why it would be cold because autumn's coming it just feels like it feels like we've gone so quickly through the year but i guess it's already day 70 wow 
Maybe that's just because we have fewer pips. <laughs> but all right, if that is the case, then perhaps we will go ahead and, um, let's see, we're gonna need to get some more tomatoes planted for sure. Oh, oh, winter. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, oh, plums. Plums, plums are, plums, plums and berries are out. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um, oh boy, okay. That's not good. Oh boy. Oh my. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, maybe we won't welcome in the last of the babies, considering we suddenly have not enough food to feed anyone. And uh, we will ponder the chill in the air and the way that it seems to hint at potentially, you know, everyone starving to death in the winter next time. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.